I want to give you guys a little sneak peek into what my actual days look like. I know I already created a day in the life video, but I want you to walk with me in real time. I'm going to be walking through what it is that I'm doing. Um, I'm getting myself started. It's early in the morning. I'm going to kind of narrate through my day so you can just see what I'm doing. So you heard that noise. That is a Slack message. <laughs> my coworker said, uh, I'm supposed to be having this meeting with them right now. And they just said, uh, give me a second to make some coffee. <laughs> so I need to do the same, actually. Walk with me. Walk with me as we go and make some amazing coffee. So this is the best part about working remote, okay? Like... It's dark in here. Oh, there we go. All right. So the best part about working remote is that you can just do stuff, you know? My coworker said they'd like to make some coffee. I didn't even make my coffee. I'm going to do caramel today. So I'm about to put this in this Keurig. I drink my coffee black. Do y'all? Uh, let me know. Do you drink your coffee black? Like, I don't put creamer. I don't put sugar. I drink my coffee black my friends they call it um either brown water or uh, there's another name they say i'm like they get on my nerve <laughs> i have on pajama shorts like you know and nobody knows while i'm working i got my coffee now i'm going back to the room i kind of already checked my emails like I kind of skimmed through them I didn't really have any emails that were new or any responses from prospects from emails I sent out yesterday so what this power hour is that we just started doing with our team is that we are giving an entire hour um, we're partnering up with our coworkers, and then we're giving an entire hour to hardcore outbound um, just where that's the only thing we focus on and so Right now, I am about to meet up with my one of my colleagues, and we're going to kind of just sit on Zoom, on mute, <laughs> really, like while we just do a lot of outreach. Um, in that way, that person's already on standby. You know, your coworkers on standby, so that if you have any questions or need help, you know, with maybe a email response that somebody said, um, they're right there. You know, for you guys to process it together. And so, yeah, I really like this. Um, I'm just waiting to get let in on Zoom, so. All right, so right now on my calendar, I have a team meeting scheduled. So this is just kind of where, you know, you click into the Zoom link, um, you and your team. So like your managers, uh, your coworkers, you know, you guys just kind of hop on a call to, you know, set your, commits you know what are you what are you trying to commit to how many bookings like what's your plan for the week and so that's what i'm about to do right now these meetings are usually like sometimes it could be between 10 and 20 minutes at the most but they really want you to get back to your day <laughs> you know all right and just that fast after about 10 minutes team meeting is over <laughs> so now what my plan is what I want to do is I want to go to my CRM, which is the customer relationship management. <laughs> so this is basically where all your, all the people you're in contact with, this is where they live, like all their information. It just holds all their contact info, like just all their info. And it also lets you know where they are in like the sales cycle and the, the, the process. Um, so it's like, okay, have I already reached out to this person? Is this somebody that I already talked to as far as like qualifying them where they were like, oh, I am interested. And so you're like, oh, they're a qualified lead. You know, um, they're a sales qualified lead. I have a row of all those people. I have a row of like the people that might not be a sales qualified lead, but they're, you know, they've expressed some type of interest. So they're like in a different category. Then I have like, oh, my demos that are scheduled. I want to check my pipeline. I want to look at like, who have I talked to? Who do I need to follow up with? Um, so that's what I'm about to do right now. So I'm definitely going to keep everything confidential. But as far as me explaining like my my process, um, I'll, I'll narrate that. So for example, I'm clicking on this person right here. Um, this person was actually a no-show. Um, 
had a meeting with them today and they did not show. So I'm gonna make a note and I'm gonna put follow up with prospect name and in parentheses, I'm gonna put no show. That's that. So who do I need to follow up with? So here's a prospect that has definitely already expressed interest. They already, um, you know, we kind of set a date for them to do a demo. We've been going back and forth for a while, um, trying to lock down a date. They are interested in hearing more. They want to see a demo, but it's just hard for us to get a date scheduled. But yeah, sometimes that happens. Like you'll reach out to a prospect, you know, um, you'll be talking to somebody, you know, through email and they're just like, oh yeah, like that sounds interesting. Like, I do want to hear more about that. And you're like, okay, cool. Like let's set up a, you know, a meeting. And then they just kind of disappear. Um, that happens. Or like with this person I'm dealing with right now, you know, I said, let's set up a meeting. They were like, cool. Um, I was like, are you available? You know, X date or X date. It's been like, um, I don't know, just back and forth as far as like, they don't respond for a few days and then they finally do respond and they're just like, hey, yeah, let's definitely set that meeting up. And I'm like, okay, cool, when? <laughs> you know, or are you available this day or this day at this time? And they're, and they're like, uh, well, what about next week? And then, you know, so it's like this back and forth thing. And so it's really just a matter of being like persistent and doing follow-ups like I'm about to do right now. So I'm gonna follow up with everybody in my pipeline, all the people that I've already been in communication with because those would be considered warm leads. Like cold is people you've never talked to. That's where you get like cold calling from, cold emailing. It's like, it's untouched, it's cold. Like you haven't talked to that person, but a warm person, a warm lead is someone that you've already been in contact with. Maybe they've already expressed interest. So that's kind of like what you wanna prioritize in your day so that's what i'm gonna do right now is follow up with those people all right so this is a good email hey so and so following up to see if you are still interested in discussing apps further i would love to hear more about what you are currently doing and learn more about your business objectives here are some highlights that i thought you might be interested in lay it out then are you available wednesday at xyz time friday at xyz time to hop on a quick call and then my closing signature, best, comma, enter, Janae. I'm not going to sit here and have y'all watch me go through all my emails. That would make this video really long because I'm about to sip on this coffee. And for the next hour, I'm going to go through these emails. All right, you guys. So I finished all my emails and I actually started an entire new set of emails that I have not got done yet. Um, but my shift is just about over. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just prep for the next day. And you know, and what that looks like is me looking at my pipeline, which is basically, like I said earlier, it's all of your, all the people you've been in touch with, all your contacts, all their information, like where they're at within the sales process. Um, and you know, just make sure like, okay, who am I following up with tomorrow? Is there anybody that I need to like, you know, reach out to kind of looking like what's on my agenda for tomorrow? So yeah, I mean, that was basically my day. I think I only missed maybe one thing throughout the day uh, that I didn't record or kind of get on camera, which is um, I had a meeting with one of our account executives and a prospect um, that's called a demo where the account executive gives a demonstration or a presentation of our product to an interested prospect. And yeah, that went really well. Uh, they were definitely interested and, um, you know, wanted more information, wanted to move forward. So uh, I'm a little closer to my quota. <laughs> um, and that's how I hit my quota is by, you know, reaching out to people, trying to see, you know, if our product would be a good fit for them. If they are, I book the meeting with our account executive. Then I hop on the meeting with our account executive um, to kind of make that little introduction, like, oh, this is so-and-so that I've been talking to, and this is our, you know, my colleague, our account, uh, account executive. You know, um, we call him a creator advocate um, here at the company I work for. But yeah, and just being like, okay, and then I kind of mute 
you know, on Zoom and let the account executive just do the demo. Um, but I get to sit in and watch, which is always great because I learn a lot <laughs> just from sitting in on these demos because the account executives are just very knowledgeable about the platform and I get to take little notes while I'm just kind of sitting there watching. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that happened today. That went really well. Um, had a team meeting today, which I told y'all about. Made me my coffee today. I didn't get my lunch on camera either. I did eat some noodles, um, just basic top ramen, which was actually fire. Um, and then, yeah, and then I did a lot of my tasks, which was sending out emails or LinkedIn messages to prospects trying to, you know, kind of like pitch our product. But, um, and the way that looks too is like these emails are kind of already templated. You just kind of personalize it a little bit um, so that you could, you know, personalize it to them specifically. Like you go on their website, kind of be like, oh, they have courses that they offer. Let me mention that, you know, maybe take a look at some of their videos. Like, oh, they have like, you know, fitness classes or whatever it is that they do. And we're dealing with content creators. So that's my, our target market. But for another tech company, like their target market could be, I don't know, clinicians or something like I mean I don't know so so yeah you just kind of pull like relevant and personalized information you know you kind of modify your email a little bit and yeah you send that email off and yeah so that's what I was doing all these hours like just kind of doing that getting these emails sent off and I did that for the rest of the day so that's what my day looked like like you guys got to kind of see it in action a little bit. Um, and now I'm about to cook dinner. I think I'm gonna make some honey garlic chicken and some broccoli and rice. <sighs> that sounds great. Cause yeah, I am literally sitting on coffee and noodles. <laughs> so I need to cook. But anyways, that is another episode of A Day in the Life for you guys to get a behind the scenes up close and personal um, view of what it looks like, you know, so hopefully when you start, you know, you can um, kind of have an idea like of what it looks like and what you'll be doing. Um, and honestly, I think every SDR, BDR role is kind of the same, you know, from prospecting to team meetings to demos with the account executive to sending out emails, making cold calls, you know, um, things like that. Uh, it's just that the product diff changes from company to company. So, so yeah, but I hope that this helps you get an idea so you can like see the, see that this is a reality, you know, um, and something that you can do and having the flexibility. I'm already home. I didn't waste any gas money today. I didn't commute nowhere. I went two seconds away to make my coffee and eat my lunch. Like it's nice over here. <laughs> so again, if you are interested, hit me up, book a consultation with me. Um, if you already know you are for sure interested and you don't have no questions, then definitely sign up with Course Careers and use my discount code for sure. It's Janae50. Look in the description so you can see how to spell it because my name is a little complicated. Um, but yeah, so you can get that $50 off and begin your journey.